Crappie Junction here. Today we are on actually a pontoon boat. So often you see us on our fishing boat, um, but there's really a lot of other ways that people enjoy the water. Um, so today we are actually here with a dig and anchor box um, to install on this pontoon. Um, here we have the bow mount first. Um, so we're gonna open up this box and see what we have. Okay, so we do have our um, mount instructions, so that's a really good thing to follow along, especially if you've never done this before. Um, I do like to follow them, so we're going to keep them close at hand here. And what we have also is one of our mount brackets. So you can see right away, it does come with you know, the full brace, the screws, and everything is kind of reassembled loosely like this. Um, so you can really imagine how and where it goes onto your pontoon. So the first thing that I would really do is take a minute and plan where you want them. If you have one in the front and the back, um, just, you know, think about how you use your boat. And, you know, we're planning in the back around some different things. And so we're choosing to put our bow mount right up here. Um, so we'll take this and we'll put this box to the side. Um, and the first thing to do is actually take apart all of these screws um, because we're going to use the plate um, as kind of our reference for where to put our holes. Keep all of your pieces together because there's nothing worse than, you know, losing one or God forbid having it drop into the water. If you're the kind of person that likes to go magnet fishing, this is a perfect time to have your magnet nearby just in case. Did not bring mine today, so hoping for the best. Alrighty, so we have our dig and anchor bracket here, um, the one that you, you know, use on the top. So the best thing to do is, you know, kind of plan out where and how you want this. In this case, you know, we know that this pontoon, um, because it's not actually our pontoon, um, it gets used a lot for recreation and swimming around the lake that we're at. We're at beautiful Green Lake, Wisconsin, so um, lots of different kinds of recreation here. Um, so we're going to put this kind of off out of the way of, you know, where people are going to be moving, but make sure that it's in the front so it's easily accessible. Um, so what we have here is you just kind of place it right down, and I am going to be using, you know, a marker just to kind of mark exactly where you want this. Um, I have just a washable marker here. You can use permanent. It doesn't really matter as long as you can see it and reference these marks that you make. So um, kind of place this right about there. And um, one of the things that I like to do is, you know, make a mark kind of on the floor and also kind of on your anchor so you can see where it lines up in a little bit um, and make a second mark for reference. And again, I kind of mark on the anchor. Um, again, that's why I'm using kind of a washable Crayola marker here. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark the holes so that we know right where we are going to be drilling. And then when you pick this bracket up, you will have your two marks that you made for reference, and you will also have your four holes where you're going to be putting your screws. So um, again, it's very light, and probably you cannot even see it on the camera because it's a black marker and a black um, base here, but I do have my mark, I do have my mark, and I'm going to be able to line it up again later. So now, this piece gets set aside, and we are going to start using um, some of our other pieces here. So... Close this up. Um, and it does say, you know, even referencing our instructions. So using the dig in mount base plate as a template before drilling holes. And then it says drill holes using a 964 inch drill bit. Um, so we do happen to have that. We just kind of came prepared today. And so we are going to be drilling in here and just making our marks just where we want them. Alrighty, 
so we do have our holes drilled um, and there is a note also in the instructions that says that if you have a pontoon that has a carpeted floor that this is a great time to take up that piece of carpet it will ensure a really snug fit with your anchor you won't get wobble you won't get play um, and it will really just um, leave you in a position that you'll be happier so um, kind of clean this off <sighs> It does not have to be perfect, but um, one of the next steps that we're going to do um, is it does say that, um, because the next thing that we're gonna do is just simply like screw it together here. Um, so it says apply marine adhesive to the holes and to the back of the dig and anchor mount. So, um, you know, we do have marine, marine grade adhesive here, um, and that is, you would put it on your holes maybe even here, um, but cover this base plate. Um, the funny thing about having a product that you can custom install though, is that you get to choose how and where and when this all gets put together. Um, because this is actually not our pontoon, the request of the owner is that they did not want it glued in case they choose to move it later on or something like that. Um, and that is just a choice that you get to make when you have a custom product. So um, again, if you're following this as an instruction guide, make sure that you apply your adhesive. Um, to the base and to the holes, but for our purposes today, we are going to skip that. Um, now, st step number four, use the four um, stainless bolts to attach the base plate through the deck and secure to the um, back plate, which is provided. So again, we are now going to be using this, um, and we're going to be lining up the whole thing to our deck here. So. Um, actually, and this is also a great time that when we have our black reference points, that that's exactly how I know, I mean, the holes are there, but that's exactly how it helps me line it up to get this to be a great fit. Alrighty, so we are on to step four of our instructions, um, and that's where we are actually going to apply our mount to the deck of our pontoon boat here. Um, so when you have the instructions, there is a nice little diagram that shows that your bracket will be here, the boat floor will be in between, and that you're going to put the base plate right under it. This will certainly help steady it, sturdy it, and make it so that you are able to anchor in waves and all those crazy things that you're doing out there. Um, so for a second, put that to the side, um, but keep it close at hand because um, with applying this under the deck, you are either going to, you know, want to maybe lay on the floor here, or if you have it pulled, you're going to need to kind of get under it. Um, but either way, um, this is a great time that when you're applying it, you make sure that you have your marks um, all lined up as you marked before. Um, and then once you get that, you'll see that it does also mark up with the holes that you made in your floor. Um, so that's just kind of a double check that you're doing um, what, you're sh what you should be doing. So um, at this point, because I have water under me, I'm not going to apply that base plate. We're gonna do that last. So kind of get some of these screws in here to hold it in. Um, so we do have our screwdriver here to get it started. When you do have your holes drilled out already, it makes it a little bit easier for you to get these screws on in. Um, and then, um, you know, just getting them all in um, without snugging them too much, because it does note to not over snug the screws. Um, so kind of start getting them in and then do the tightening at the end.
Number screw. We're gonna have to cut this video. Did you hear me? Alright, so we now have our four screws in and holding our bracket enough that, you know, we can do some other things. Um, so I'm going to put my screwdriver to the side. Um, and we do have our other plate here that now we're going to install in the underside. Um, as we do that, we're going to use our washers and our bolts that are here. Um, and normally we would, you know, um, use more of a wrench, but today this is the tool that we have here. So we're going to be sliding this onto the screws and putting the bolts on. Um, but for that, I'm actually going to use Josh's help because we are on the water today and having an extra set of hands might be helpful. So, you know, if you have a child, if you have a wife or a girlfriend or just a friend or anybody who loves to fish with you, this is a great time to get them involved. Um, so we are going to get this put together and we'll come right back and show you what we did. 